What's up, guys? My name is Master Gamer, and I'm Fluffy Gamer. What's up, guys? <laughs> we're here with a couple of people that are gonna serve us some voices for this game. Our couple friends. Do you want us to use our names? Sure. All right. We got Adrian and Hunter here. Both been on the channel before. For a second, and, uh, Gamer and uh, Dreson. Thanks. Yeah. You had to make it cringy when it was okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I this I is blind for me. Yes, um the couple of voice actors, one of them's blind, one of them's not. I'm not. And Ernie is. So this is Ernie pretty much. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor good and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it's just kind of works out because you've known each other for, for so long. We used to watch school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> Slept again. Oh gosh. Oh well. Deal with it. But I caught you this time. Oh yeah, you definitely caught. I'm gonna me. use this caught. voice. You've definitely, you've definitely caught. Hello. Caught me. Oh god, that was weirder <laughs> than anything else I said. Maybe, but only because I. Wait, what? I what? might have skipped an app. The thing you were doing. You didn't. Hey, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you say that like you've been thinking about ignoring me. It's my plan. Deal with my voice, damn it! Kind of like not burst out <laughs> That's mean, Fluffy. Uh, that well, is not the way it was supposed to sound. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting <laughs> weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. Good. But you did wait for me after all. Coincidence. I guess you don't have to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you. <laughs> Slap in the face. Oh. Every time Casey messes up, I'm gonna slap in the face. Oh. That's one right there. Whatever you say, say yours. <laughs> that could that was my actual laugh. laugh. This is having a mess. <laughs> I know, this but I'm happy mess. with it. We cross the street together and make our way to school. Laugh. As we draw near the streets, we become dead, dead. increasingly dead. speckled dead. with What's other happening? students making their daily oh. commute. <laughs> it's gonna talk. Should we I'm read this? No, welcome to Gaming Zone. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. By the way, Fluffy. We, this video is supported by no, no one. <laughs> it's supported <laughs> no, by Patreon. No, so, it's not. Yes, Patreon has nothing to do with this video. Yes, Please sir. press the button. Did you read the Yes, thing? I did. Okay. I didn't mean to go into the voice there. Have you decided on a club to join yet? Oh, I can't get back into that. A club? I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. That's not true! Ah! My voice! <laughs> you're telling them to be consistent. You're not I'm being so consistent. Right. You're trying with like, voice. Make sure you're consistent. <laughs> you told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going about. Yeah, I do that with some of my friends. So Aerie likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about I'm worried that you won't learn to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? You know, if you're gonna touch me, you can touch me somewhere thing. else. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say my nose, but okay. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What's a neat? I don't fucking know. That's why I said it that way. Neat. It's like you trust me, right? No. <clears throat> don't make me keep worrying about you. What's gonna happen if you keep worrying about me? Is that red bow tie gonna be on my head now? What? Uh, uh, all right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, <clears throat> I guess I'll promise that. Yay! Yahoo! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. 
I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. <laughs> what was that sound? I'm trying to read great, please. Yeah, my voice is troubling. Let's let's just realize I'm, I'm trying to read greatly here. We've got this. The school day is this as is ordinary enjoyable. as ever, and it's over before I know it. Just keep telling yourself that, and things will be okay. No, after I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, <laughs> looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayura so wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello, Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was facing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I just saw you sitting here spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. How are you ah. reading my mind? Ah. <laughs> 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 you don't need to wait up for me. Or it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Uh, you know what? <laughs> <There you go. laughs> that timing. Well, that you could come to my club. Ugh. Uh, I don't know Sayori. How long, much longer I can listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> there is no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Mimi. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any intentions and in interest. <laughs> intentions. <laughs> intentions with literature. Oh, I swear we take this game seriously, guys. I swear. 99% of the time. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest Can you have one, any more enthusiasm <laughs> in your voice? You are at Shinsen. total peak, aren't you? Since she, no, I can't say since, since. What are you trying to say? I don't even see the word. You're the first since. word. You're on since. the first word. God. It's a hard ass to pronounce, okay? Since she, since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the glow, she inherited the title vice president. I both uh, love and hate this video right now. My you brain is already. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Yeah, that sounds like me. Come on, please. No. <clears throat> Why do you have so much care? <laughs> Why do you care so <laughs> Why'd you buy so much care at the supermarket, man? Can't use all what that is care. This? <laughs> this is amazing. I have impersonified. Trouble Never have me read, please. Impersonified. Oh jeez. Okay. Why do you why do you care so much anyway, huh? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Oh, really? Did you? Did you now? And uh, Suki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> He didn't say he let out a long fine, he said he lets out a long sigh. That's... <laughs> okay, just pray! <laughs> I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? <laughs> yes! Let's go! The emphasis on the yes. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I, I sold can't. my soul for a cupcake. I would, I've sold my soul many times for a, cu for a cupcake. No more. <laughs> I dejectively did, 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 did follow Sayori. What? The hunter did not Suki's voice. That would be hilarious. I de I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I really I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Am I a senior or sophomore? Yes. Okay. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. <laughs> energy. 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 Everyone, the new member is here. Oh, my I voice told is you, dying. don't call me a new member. Oh, don't hurt me. Eh? You left around the room. Girl, one. This is you, my friend. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasant. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it either. I, don't Please like that. I, I, I promise you, this is 100% professional. Make it a little nicer. <laughs> 
please. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to keep that up. I know. Uh, you could just do your normal voice if you want. Zero always says nice things about you. Seriously? I kind of like that. <laughs> just picturing her saying that in that voice. And, oh god. In Hunter's voice. <laughs> Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Fluffy. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Okay, this is totally dating. Is your voice getting more monotone? Right? Like, <laughs> yes, it can. Uh, you need to be a little What crazy. are you looking at? Uh, you're. I think we found the, the X, best voice the, actor the because X I can seriously your head imagine that voice coming out of her mouth. The X on your head marks the spot where, where the treasure is. You want to say something? Say it. I, I just told you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, come on, you stutter and you couldn't get the stutter right. <laughs> this is not tricky. Stop. <laughs> Go back to your normal voice. It's all good, Grandma. Like it's so much boat. better. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude. <laughs> Whose name is apparently Natsuki is the one I don't I don't recognize. The small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and then turns back toward the other girl. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to ha have a hard time keeping up with the people like Sayori and Natsuki. Yes. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Ah, my voice. That's right. It's great to see you again, Fluffy. Mon Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so gently feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Fluffy. We made room for you at the table. So come sit next to me or Monica. Do I choose? Can I sit I'll by get myself? the cupcakes. I, I decided to sit by myself. This is, this is Dungeon Dragons, right, guys? Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, got a little too excited. Okay, did you want me as a new member, or did you just want cupcakes? Then how about I make some tea as well? <laughs> that voice. <though>. God. <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica, and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray, and Yuri opens the closet. After taking a long breath. <sighs> and burping. <laughs> Still feeling uh, awkward. I bet you do. I yeah. bet you do. Mm -hmm. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Atsuki proudly marches back to the table, Get tray your hand in hand. Away from me, boy. No, come here, Sayori. Take me by me, Sayori. <laughs> okay, are you ready? <laughs> you could have been. That could have been I so love fitting the voice. with this situation. I love the voice. Wow! Yeah, seriously, that voice is perfect. Atsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cakes, decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn and icing. And little pieces of Can chocolate. you read like a normal person? <laughs> We're used to make ears. <laughs> so cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to I get oh, ice on her face. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. I mean, it's just a cupcake. It's not like we're like some fancy hotel, restaurant, movie theater, somewhere. Somewhere, anywhere. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? 
I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Eh. Well, maybe. But it's not, you know, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Asuki's weird <laughs> logic and dismiss the conversation. Like every anime guy who she, when a girl likes, he's like, uh, whatever. Let's use the definition of <laughs> The reach is for the best. Yeah. Yuri returns to the table carrying a, a tea set. over. She carefully <laughs> places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teacup next to the cupcake tray. You, you keep, keep a whole tea set? No, it's not, it's not you. you! It's me! Pay attention to those names. I hardly saw it. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? <laughs> I don't think that's how that was Don't said. worry, the teachers gave us permission. <laughs> After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yes. yes. And, and, a, and a smoke for you, obviously. <laughs> right? Uh, I guess. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Right. Why is why is Monica holding her hands like she is smoking a cigarette? Just, just, just this is her stance. I just did this. This is her stance. That's not you. <laughs> that's that's not computer malfunctioning. <laughs> Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. This I believe you. On me. <laughs> well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy enjoy tea. I'm glad. I bet you are. Yuri faint, faintly smiles through his own room. <laughs> she just faints right there in the classroom. That is not what faintly means. Drops down in the classroom. Uh, Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. What? <laughs> so, what have you... What made you consider the literature club? Um, I was forced here against my own will, being held captive. Uh, I was right of this question. <clears throat> Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Probably well, not a good idea. Yeah, it's it's good to be truthful. Be honest. Well, I haven't Everyone joined here? any. Yeah, I can, but it's okay. quieter. I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here. So. That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? <clears throat> you could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you leader of the debate team, debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. You to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. And obviously, you can't stand up straight. Yes. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget, and publicity, and how to prepare for events, and how to stand up straight. Wait! <gasps> you can right-click! Yeah, cool. it's a thing. Now left-click. <laughs> I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Please, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be able to speak. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. By speaking. <laughs> Monica really is a great leader! Yuri also nods in agreement. <clears throat> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort into starting something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like this game- Literature. Literature. Like you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. And not just a visual novel, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Or a hentai game. Sure. I'm confident that we can all grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. <clears throat> Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Fluffy, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, 
considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, joking. Atsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. I'll change for you, Yuri. Yuri. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. This world is more suiting than I thought. The level I mean, of voice. creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. <clears throat> she seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Yes. Stories of deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Yes. Isn't that amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you up for a loop? Yes. yes. I'm gonna kill you. Anyway, Do it. I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah. ah. I read a horror book <laughs> once. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I desperately read something I can relate to at the minimum level. Minimal, not minimum. Minimal level. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean to say yes again. Yes. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with the uh, rock. Uh, really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. Because if, but if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful in, ch in changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Nat Natsuki's eyes don't dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. I swear it's always that. <laughs> it looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori so, sidles, 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 so, 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 sidles, sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her her hands on her so, shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Not like I wasn't part of poetry, uh, poetry class. Uh, no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. Not a I understand reader. how Natsuki feels. I mean, I'm not a confident reader. I'm telling so. you that voice. It just turns me all right. This tells more than just confidence. Pigs. Pigs? <laughs> pigs. <laughs> what? <laughs> confidence takes pigs. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems! We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea. Everyone! No. Hmm? Huh? Natsuki and Yuri looks, qu look quizzically at Mon Mon Monica. Yes. <laughs> Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Yes. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. 
Um. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, too much <laughs> enthusiasm. Back up like twenty five percent. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Fluffy? Monica smiled warmly at me once again. Oh, hold on, there, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forward <clears throat> with what's been, what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would have joined the club, this club. That say, was the correct enthusiasm, very say, much so. Thank Sayori you. may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any de decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. That escapes me. But, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> Fluffy! You, you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. No. Do it. And your feet. <laughs> yes. No, go. <laughs> hey. You really did scare me for a moment. But you're scaring me with that voice you're always <laughs> <laughs> If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. That, that, it's a compliment. And that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. And the hells that I've spent here. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember, tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting, so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Fluffy, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself, expose yourself, express yourself. I'm going to expose myself in front of everyone. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Can I really impress a class harmonica with my mediocre writing skills? I already felt the anxiety welling up inside me, like this burp. Meanwhile, the girls continue to that didn't chat. <laughs> if I burp, I'm gonna puke. So, oh. <laughs> getting oh, better. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. <laughs> hey, Fluffy! <laughs> that hay broke. Hey, Fluffy! Since we're here, do you want to walk home together? We're already here, but okay. I'm sorry. That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monika. Would I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow close to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure a good fortune will find me. But I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Yes! I kind of changed my mind. I kind of love voicing so, Natsuki. <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, pick words your favorite club match. Okay. Um... What the? Oops. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to go over um, and click something. Graveyard. Space. I'm going for Suicide! Yuri. I'm going for oh. Yuri. You're going, everyone goes for Yuri. Dis of course. Yeah. Disarray. Fine, Ambient. I'm, fine. I'm Socks. Going, I'm going Socks. For... Socks. <laughs> I'm going for Natsuki then. Socks. Too late. Socks. Sorry. Entropy. That's the wrong one. Existence. Uh, Blanket. Cry. Cry. Philosophy. Okay, I'm going for the wrong one, but okay. Depies. Despise. Despise. <laughs> I said oh Despise. <laughs> Melody. Uh, which one is for Natsuki? Empty. All the cute shit. Flop. Fluffy. <laughs> flop. Like, hop, hey, you do like... fluffy, dude. You're fluffy. Oh, fluffy, fluffy, you're fluffy. You're fluffy. fluffy. You have fluffy. to say fluffy. Yeah. And it was for Natsuki. Games. Uh, Games. 
Tragedy. Games. 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 Jump. Jump. What's up? Judge. Are you okay? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, jump. See? Sweet. Yes. Depression. Damn it. No. Hardy. Hardy, hardy, hardy. Or candy. Candy. Um, Fun. Disown. Color. Oh, peaceful. Unstable. <laughs> Heart. Defeat. Damn it. Whistle. Embrace. Bad. Valentine. Flee. That is me. Uh, Flee. Get that. Damn it. Anxiety. Papa. Anime. Inside. There we go. Death. Rainbow. Death, death, marshmallow. Death, death, death. Chocolate. Okay. Apparently. Nice. Alone. Starscape. Massacre. Life. This is gonna I be painful promise to listen you'll through. be alone and explode okay. like a mouse in agonizing pain. Oh my god, I used all those words. Uh. Oh wow. I didn't realize what, was, what I you have were doing. lipstick and it's causing me misery in a fantasy world that's precious to me because I have a feather and heart Great. cheek. Disaster. Let finish. <laughs> Disaster, romance, memories, treasure. I'm extremely hurt. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Playground analysis. Sing. Um. I have an uncontrollable love. Vanilla. Lazy vanilla. Um. Doki Doki's cute, and vitality is daydream. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> vitality is daydream. And that right was one of the here, most stupid puns I've ever had. <laughs> and right here, we are going to end the video. Okay. End the video. I hope you guys liked this first video of Doki Doki Literature Club. If you guys did, be sure to hit the like button. If you didn't, hit it anyway, because fuck it. <laughs> yeah. okay. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, wrong one. Remember, everything changes.